delighted to say, joined McLean's TV, making his debut. Mark uh, Dunlop, boxing uh, promoter, impresario, everything. Mark, you're working very, very hard at your sport and working very, very hard with a very good stable of young boxers. Yes, yes. Tell me all about it. Well, it started off three or four years ago. You know, I was asked to look after James Tennyson and uh, basically we couldn't get enough fights. There wasn't enough happening here. I don't class myself as a promoter in any way. It's what I had to do. I made a promise to James that we'd get him so many fights. The cost of that was astronomical. So I said, well, I can't keep doing this. I'm going to have to take out a promoter's license to get them all regular fights. So it's sort of a steamroll from there. Uh, and I mean, they like James Tennyson there. He, uh, he excelled himself, you know, went and as he, you heard earlier on, he won the Irish title in his fifth fight. It was just unheard of at 19 years of age. See, it's like a James Fires. These kids could have went on and become really superstars in the amateur game, but their passion is professional boxing. So they forgo the opportunity to, to continue on with their amateur career. And it's a long road in the pro game. No one, everyone will tell you that. No, it's, no, it's not all what you see on TV. All Carl Frampton was the same. He was hawked all over the country by Barry McGuigan on whatever show he could get until you get to a certain stage where like it's sink or swim. Now both both boys here have already had that stage sink or swim. Last year both of them won you know won titles, which they didn't talk about. It was uh, and as I say, James Tennis now he's ahead of them all in terms of uh, not an ability. It's just where he is in his division. There's only fifty fighters, which is the featherweight division where he currently sits number three, number four. He's ranked number seven in Europe. You know, he's ready for the next big thing. He's won a British title eliminator and he's their Celtic champion, which is basically the champion of Scotland, Wales and, uh, and Ireland, north and south. You're talking about the lads are, you know, it's difficult maybe for them to get a break. Is it difficult to, in your position, to get the breakthrough, you know, to get the, uh, the, to get the big boots, yeah. to get the fights? Because mm -hmm. I'm sure if you get the fights, you'll get the support here in Belfast, yes. won't you? Yes, so it's like everything, it's, it's, everything comes at a price, you know, these guys, you know, sacrifice their, their time and obviously they're young men, they want to go out and enjoy themselves, but they have the, the same dream that Carl Frampton had and Carl Frampton made the same sacrifices. So a bit of dedication and they'll go all the way, but in terms of financially, it's a big, big burden on, on, on me, my family, everybody, but I, I, even, you know, everyone wants paid. You know, it's not a, an amateur game, it's, a, it's mm -hmm. a professional sport. I mean, it's really peanuts what they get if you work it out over the hours to put in in the gym. But, you know, if they get there one night, you know, if that Odyssey can be filled one night, you know, it's all reap its rewards for, for what for what they've done and achieved that myself, like, hopefully. Now, you've got James Friars and James Tennyson with us here today in McLean's, and uh, you have big plans for these lads in 2016. Yeah. You possibly could have fights, sell-out fights in Belfast, yeah. British eliminators mm. actually fighting for British titles yeah. as well. Yeah. It's exciting times for you. Yes, yes. Well, I mean, I've started attracting TV now. I have a, one of the a fantastic stable. It's not just these two. These two, as I say, Paul has taken a, a, you know, taken an eye to them. So he, he's obviously done to fair. They're, they're good kids and wants to be involved. And without his help, I couldn't do when it. When you but say Paul, you mean McLean. Paul McLean, the, yeah. the managing director of McLean Bookmakers. And... You know, his father was a boxing man. It's just, it's if it's in the blood, it's in the blood. You no, know, my family was boxing. It's just, you know, it's an obsession. You know, it's an obsession boxing. It's not, you know. In fact, BJ who often said, you know, it was it was the least uh, financially rewarding of the the, the businesses he was involved in. But you know, it gave him a great pleasure. And he's right. It's not like horses where, you know, you can't talk to them. These these guys are, you know, you can have a, a relationship mm -hmm. with them. You know, and Mark, of course, two thousand and sixteen. I know it's difficult to get, you know, to, to get the breaks, but you've got big plans for everybody for two thousand and sixteen if they work out. Yes, yes. I, as I say, if I can get one of the guys a national title, which is obviously you know like a British title, you know, then the doors are just totally open. If one guy, Joe Fitzpatrick, who wins the Commonwealth Games silver medals last year in uh, in Glasgow, he's already been fixed up with Frank Warren, one of the biggest promoters in the UK. He's a 10 fight TV deal. They'll be coming here, hopefully to showcase him. You know, he's, he only had three fights, but it'll take a, a bit of time. Uh, the like of these guys, if, if one of these guys wins a British title, the TV will be here and they will become household names. As I say, it's, it's small hall stuff I'm doing at the minute. You know, I did do the, the Ulster Hall three years ago. In fact, I was the last person to, to run a show in there. But again, it was a hard sell because it's a big venue to fill it up. 
so I'd rather keep it smaller and have them pack them out so that every seat is like a ringside seat and people can come and experience that. Now, I'm having like a mixed show on the 6th of February uh, and hopefully James will, Tennyson will be on that if I can win the purse bids for, the, for his final eliminator. It'll be a fantastic night, the atmosphere is it's electric. And, uh, but I also tear down, I can't, uh, I tear down from dinner boxing, but I also have sections for normal boxing punters, the ones that have been behind me for the past three or four years. So it's achievable that everyone can afford a ticket to come and watch. And that venue is going to be the Europa Hotel? The Europa Hotel, 6th of February. And that'd be a sellout, wouldn't it? Well, the, funny, the last time I held it in Europa, which was the 17th of October, there was only four fights and it was sold out. Uh, you know, and I, I refused to put up the price of the tickets. I just want to, I want everyone to get behind these guys and come and people that can afford it will have a fantastic night. Mark, I wish you all the very best for Thank 2016 you. with all your boxers. Yeah. And I have a funny feeling here because you're associated with McLean's. Mm. You'll be back in that seat at some stage in the future. Well, fingers crossed. Thanks very Thank much. You. Cheers. God bless.